Have you ever wondered which is the best typal type that's typing its way into Ixalan? Typing its way into my DMs. No, 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 no. No one's typing their way into my <laughs> Quick, DMs. Quick, run the credits. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome to Chad Magic. My name's Christian. And I'm Wally. And today we've got the new precons from the Caverns of Ixalan. We've got four typal commanders. We've got vampires, we've got dinosaurs, we've got merfolk, and we've got pirates. I think that's right, isn't it? That's correct. That's good. That's correct. But we all know dinosaurs is obviously the best. And we're going to duke it out to see what's the best typal type. What's coming up, Christian? So today we've got returning guests. We've got Ant. We all love a bit of Ant. Uh, you know, Mr. Combo himself. Well, I'm on my picnic, though. <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> right. And also we've got Tom, the Prince of Politics, you know, a, a bit of a fan favourite around these parts. Yeah, We're yeah. going to be battling out with each of our favourite of the types from the from the new precons from Ixalan, which is one of my favourite planes. Yeah, uh, so I've never been to Ixalan before, it's came before my time, but really excited for these new precons. I've seen some of them in play already on other channels, but watch ours first. Yeah, watch ours first. We're, we're, <laughs> we're, we're, we're the best. <laughs> and yeah, really excited to see what these decks can do. Yeah, before we get into the content, this episode is brought to you by the lovely folks over at Whatnot. Thank you, Whatnot. Yeah, thank you, Whatnot. You can join uh, our Whatnot affiliate link and get a free £10 free £10 uh, on our Whatnot streams. So we've got two of them coming up, haven't we, Wally? We sure have. So if you'd like to join us on our Whatnot streams, we've got one coming up on the 12th and one on the 18th of November, and they are both at the same That's time. Soon. Very soon. That's very soon. So those times are going to be at the bottom here, but it's 7 p.m. UK time, 3 p.m. EST, and noon Pacific time for our friends in the United States of America. So do join those. And if you use the affiliate link, as Christian said, you can just get a mug. Or it's basically free postage. Mug. Basically free mug. Free mug. Just, just pay postage. And we know how much you love the mugs. We get so many comments about the yeah. mugs all the time. They're finally available. And they're finally available. But we've and also they're nearly got... gone. Yeah, they are nearly gone, especially if you want a blue one, uh, because most people agree that uh, blue is the best colour of magic. If you don't agree with that, buy a different colour. Uh, buy a white one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got a few of them left. Um, we also do uh, pack breaks and things like that. And yeah, it's, all, it's a really, really good time. So uh, join us for that one. And uh, we wanted to give a big thanks out also to our Patreon as well we'll bring them up on screen thank you guys you guys are absolutely wonderful if you want to support the channel a little bit more than subscribing you know you can start start from just a pound a month which gets you access to the discord if you pay five pounds a month you get access to exclusive content which is post-game wraps behind the scenes blooper reel all that sort of thing and also you get to play christian in the on spell table yes and uh, so if you've ever thought do you know what is christian the, actually the threat you can find out that i am on the spell table <laughs> so uh, we've got patrons doing that all the time we really really enjoy that uh, if you don't want to uh, do the patreon but you do want to support the channel liking the video hitting the subscribe bell it's just you know down there it really really supports us as well so please interact with the video um, and one thing, we do have the competition as well. No, yeah, I thought we'd forgotten about oh, that. No, yeah, no, yeah. No, never so yeah. if you'd like a chance to win this Dominar Remastered Draft Booster Box, all you've got to do is subscribe to the channel. As Christian said, the button's down there. Then share one of our videos on any social media you like. Facebook, Bebo, LinkedIn, whatever you like. We did actually have someone share it on LinkedIn. It's pretty funny. And Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> and then send an email or a, sc or a screenshot of you sharing it to our channel email address that's appearing below. That will enter you into the competition. Then at 5,000 subscribers, one lucky person will win this box sent to you anywhere in the world. Just let us know what you get because we're excited. There's going to be some yeah, spicy really stuff excited. in there. I mean, this has been in my house now for months and it's just the temptation to crack mm. it. Wally, I can hear the stomp of some dinosaurs, the, uh, the hissing of vampires, the hissing of vampires, the singing of Murphy, <laughs> and the and drinking the of pirates. Yar, yar. <laughs> of, uh, of pirates. So we're gonna go. We're gonna get into the content. Thanks very much for watching. Let's go. And just like magic, we're back and we are ready to play. And you won the dial. I think I did. Yeah. No, no, no you no, didn't. Actually, no. You lost the die roll. You, you won the die roll. I won the die roll, yes. You won the die roll. Die roll politics already. I'm actually. Wally back again, and today I'm playing Hackball of the Surging Soul. It's Merfolk I'm going to be exploring, and hopefully I'll find a way to victory. So you're going to explore your way to... Oh no, that's rubbish. Sorry. <laughs> I've, even, I've even got a math token. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hi, I'm Tom. I'll be playing Calibur. <laughs> The vampire one. The, the vampire one. <laughs> Tom and Leno. Um, I think that's right. First of the blessed. Um, whenever um, you attack, target attacking vampire, that isn't a demon. I'm suffering this today. <laughs> vampires and demons, guys. Vampires Basically, and demons. I, I want to attack with a vampire. I can then um, give it so that when it dies, 
it create I get to draw a card and create a four free um, black vampire demon creature token with flying. There you go. Demons and vampires. <laughs> and three minutes into the video. Uh, <laughs> my name is Christian and I'm playing the dinosaur one. It has Discover. New mechanic, it's a bit like Cascade. Um, basically when I play this or another dinosaur, once per turn, uh, I can basically reveal stuff from the top, well exile stuff from the top and another dinosaur comes in. So it's basically dinosaurs and we're gonna stomp our way to victory. Maybe. Maybe, or I'm gonna be playing Admiral Brass Unsinkable and I'm gonna be making lots and lots of pirates I mean, I don't like to think of them as coming back from the grave. I like to think they've had a pirate hangover from having too much rum. <laughs> and then I just bring them back in that way. Um, so I'm going to have very, very hungover pirates killing everyone. Do you know, traditionally, dinosaurs are very good friends with pirates, by the way. So. Is that... Is that, is that <laughs> politics <laughs> doesn't start until Tom says it starts. <laughs> I, don't, I don't believe I said let's politics. Uh, is everyone ready anyway? Let's do I it. Think so. yeah, let's go. Right, okay. So I will draw for turn. I'll um, I'll play this forest and I'll tap it for a hardened scales and I'll pass oh. the turn to Tom. Okay, that's really good. I'll draw. Turn one. It's I'll okay. It's, it is a little bit scary. It's better than a soul ring. I'll play a swamp. I will tap a swamp. Oh, away to play Master of Dark Rites. So um, I can sacrifice another creature to add three black mana. Spend this mana to only cast vampires, clerics, or demons. That's pretty oh, good. That's good. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, not, it's not funny that those are the only cards uh, in your deck. It's yeah. vampiric soul. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll play an evolving wild and I'll pass. Okay. Nice fair turn. Nice yeah. Fair turn. You know what, Christian? In that, in spirit of evolving wild symmetry, I will also play an evolving oh, wild. Oh, there's a nice art on these. Oh yeah. Uh, pass you to Wally. In tap and draw. Um, well, I don't have a two drop. Um, I'll play a Hinterland Harbour and I'll just very sadly pass the turn. Okay. Good, good, good. I'll untap, I'll draw. I will play a Path of Industry that comes intact. Um, and then I am going to attack you. You know what? I was actually going to suggest that. Yeah. I think just just because you were pirates. very you were very cocky with your pirates and taking us down. <laughs> I, I, I don't like cockiness. Ah, I, mean, I think I think. Do you not like drinking? Um, I do. I, I do. mean, then again, take the drink. one. Yeah. Take the one. I will take. So the creature one. has been turned sideways. To be fair, vampires like blood as opposed to alcohol. So um, I'll, I'll I'll go with that. Before you pass the turn, I'm going to crack my evolving miles. And in response, in the sense of. We'll be speeding things along. I will do the counter same. target activated ability. Oh, <laughs> if you dare. <laughs> if you dare. Aha! Uh -huh. Me and George were playing a few weeks ago and he countered my burnished hearts ability. I was feeling <laughs> oh, so hard. Oh, so harsh. <laughs> That's just, just mean. Okay, so um, I think I've got a forest and you got an island. I did indeed. Yeah, we'll go to my turn. I'll untap up and draw. Um, I will play an exotic orchard. I, I'll tap my exotic orchard for a black. I'll play a soul ring. Nice. Um, wow. I'll tap the soul ring and the forest. Um, turn turn two soul ring. I'll cast rampant growth. That's better than, um, like than ever, I suppose. I'm mm. going to go and find a mountain that uh, man will fizzle, and I'll pass it in. Okay. I'll on tap. Keep that draw. And I think my turn will be fairly straightforward as well. We tap two, and it will be a Bracto signet, and I'll pass to you one. Nice. Okay. So I won't untap. I will just draw. I'll play an island, I'll tap for three to play a topography tracker. So when it enters the battlefield, I create a map token. Now maps are a new type of token. It has an activated ability where I pay one and tap it. I sacrifice it, target creature I control, explores. I can only do it as a sorcery. So there's my very nice map token. I must say, I'm a bit jealous. For those of you at home, my, um, uh, as an American say, my major was in geography. So uh, I'm a bit jealous of your map token, actually. Well, maybe. You'll have a way to make one. But anyway, <laughs> pass the turn to Tom. Okay, I will untap, I will untap, and then I'll draw. I will play a planes, and I think ooh, it is time to pay the three to bring out. Bring him out. Yes. Do this. So I am going to go to. I, I'm going to go to attack. Um, I think my Wally's, friend Tom. I think Wally's the best person. Um, to attack right now. Do you know what, Tom? If you need to attack me to get your trigger, then then, 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 we're, then we're, we're more than happy. Christy and I'm going to come at you, yeah. and then I'm going to put the trigger and. Make it so that when it dies, it'll be a 4 3 white vampire thing. Okay, fine. No, nice. but it doesn't, the creature's still just a 1 1 right now, right? It is a 1 1 right now. Okay, I'll untap, upkeep, and draw. Oh, that's a good card. Does that change my plan slightly? Right, I'm going to tap for 5 and I'm going to bring out my commander. Any responses? 
Uh, so I've got a Rakdos Signal which needs mana. Okay, yeah. when it enters the battlefield, I'm going to discover X. So I'm going to exile cards off until I get a... Oh, a Fiery Confluence. Okay. So I can choose to have it do one damage to each creature, two damage to each opponent, or destroy target artifact. Three I times. think we will do um, two damage to each opponent, and I will destroy Wally's map. Yeah! I didn't realise you were that jealous of my map. I'm so jealous of your map, you can't so have one. Okay, so... You've done two damage to each opponent, one artifact dead, so you need one more mode. <gasps> oh, and, oh, I need to do another one. Yeah, oh, oh do... okay, I see how this works. I'm going to destroy your artifact as well. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. Oh, what a good friend. I've seen what you can do with artifacts. I have I have done no, so long. No, I, I choose my soul ring. <laughs> and then I'll pass, pass the turn. I'd say thanks, but it's... it's You're not grateful. It's, I don't mean it. <laughs> <laughs> so... I think uh, I need to start ramping again, so I'll bring out a Rogue's Passage and I'll tap three and immediately crack a Wayfarer's Bauble. And I'll search for a mountain and uh, pass ten to you, Wally. Sure, thank you. I'll untap and draw. Would you look at that bottom of the library? Um, I will play an island and I guess I'll just bring out my commander, Hackball of the Surging Soul. So at the beginning of combat on my turn, each Murphic creature I control explores. Oh. So we will go to combat. Topography Tracker will explore, so I'll reveal the top card of my library. It's a cold-eyed selkie. That is not a land. So okay, I can put I can put it back on top or put it into my graveyard. I'm going to put it back on top and I'll put a counter on my topography which tracker. Which is two counters. Which is two counters because of hardened scales. scales. Thank you, guys. Uh, so is that each merfolk that it triggers on? Including each itself? merfolk. So oh, you can do it again. Oh, yes, it does. Okay, well, I mean, I've put that on top, so... Keep I'll just top, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I'll just keep it on top. So... Two counters on each of my creatures. That's Does everyone agree this fair. is really scary? That, yes. that is very scary. Yeah. Yeah. Super duper scary. Don't, don't worry oh. about it. What have you got, Chris? Your, your creature's actually quite big, so. Um... I mean, he's got nothing. Yeah, he has got whoa, nothing. Whoa, 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 whoa! And it's also on the least. I've, life. Always, I've also taken so... a hit from yourself. Come on, let's set it set out. So, Tom, go on. 4 4, going at you. I'll take 4. That was a bit, that was a bit harsh. That was... Hey, <laughs> behave yourself. Oh. And I'll. Pass the turn to my good friend Tom. There's no friendship here. <laughs> <laughs> somehow Only I knew, pain. Somehow I knew that would be there. friends now yeah, doesn't yeah. want any friends. They don't mean to have a friend. We're, we're, we're the bestest of friends. Well, I mean, the you're bestest. Friend. Hang on. Whoa, 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 wait there. <laughs> Hang on. I think Fire Confluence has something to say about um, me and you being friends. So I will um, play um, a Mirrored Landscape. Comes in tapped, yeah. Comes in tapped, cool. leaving me with Tres. Um, well, you've really taken on the Spanish. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, I try. Are they all Spanish? Um, the are they? Yeah, and then they're conquistadors. And then oh, I'm nice. going to play two black to play. Damn. Damn. Destroy target creature. What are you going to destroy? Well, I've, I've put it on your board. Um, it's com it's commander. I think the commander. Yeah. It's the scariest thing. It's literally just. Get it gone. It's sat there okay, and put four one one counters gone. on things. That seems like a bit of a waste of a board wipe to me, but. Fair enough. No, I think that is very skillful oh, play, it's, actually. It's it's not a board wipe. It can be. High level competitive it can, magic. It can be, but I, I'm, I'm very petty. <laughs> um, so, I'm then going to come at you with my... Because you've got no blockers, have you? Have no, um, my commander's going to come at you. And because it's attacking, it doesn't say other. It's It can, it be, can, choose, it can choose itself. Okay. So when that dies, it'll go to the commander and you'll get a token. Yes, That's I will. pretty good, so I'll take oh, two damage. Nice. And it's commander damage, so you will get... Yes. Lovely little dice. Thank you. Thank you, sir. May I have another? <laughs> <laughs> and then I pass my friend... My, my friend? I'm already I getting my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm passing it to my good friend, Christian. Oh, thank you, my good friend, Tom. We're very sorry for interrupting the content. We'll only be a second, but we did have an announcement. We sure did. So if you'd like to join our WhatNot stream, that's happening. There's two of them happening, actually, on the 12th and 18th of November. 7 p.m. UK time, 3 p.m. EST, and noon Pacific time. If you join using our affiliate link, you'll get a £10 voucher that just gets you a mug. All you have to pay for is postage. But if you want, you know, if you don't want to do that, join for some pack breaks, some good banter, some beans, some big stocks, big stonks. <laughs> but anyway, let's get back to the content. Buy a mug, please. <laughs> Thank you, my good friend Tom. Um, I will untap. I will upkeep and draw. Um, I'll play a land for turn. It's a secluded courtyard. I will name dinosaurs. Uh, not cephalids, uh, as no. people might think. No. I'll tap this for two, I'll float one. I will tap these two for a green and a, a red, and I'll play everyone's favourite. This is the rhythm of the wild. <laughs> the, the wild. wild. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Nice. Uh, <laughs> this is a 
Go Rick. Um, yeah. Okay. Plus a scary rendition so of that. Double hasty dinosaurs. To, yeah. Anyone who's not as good. Then friend. with my flo <laughs> with my floating one, and then the two uh, green. I'll tap for two green for a uh, topiary stomper. Um, so there's two triggers. Actually, there's three things that happen here. So first of all, I will choose whether it uh, gets a plus one plus one or haste. I will choose it to get a plus one plus one. Because he can't attack. Um, right. I will go and find a basic land card. Um, then I will discover five. Wally, we're going to have to be good friends here. Yeah, so, we can be good okay. friends. Okay. <laughs> Right, so I get a Bronzeback Foragers. When it enters the battlefield, it exhales a one target non land permanent that player controls Ooh. for each opponent. I've got oh, no yeah. land lands. Okay. Not get it. Um, until it leaves the battlefield. First of all, it will get a plus one, plus one counter from. Uh, it's not good for me. Actually, no, I want to have haste. No, I'll have it to have a plus one, plus one counter. So um, I will choose Wally's Hardened Scales. Um, I know it's, it's exiled oh, it's until yeah. it leaves the battlefield, so it's oh. underneath, under, underneath it. Uh, Tom, since we've been working together, I can't, it's, n it's not, oh, it's up to one. Oh, but I don't, uh, it's a bit too mean to not do anything to Tom. So um, I will Come target on. this. Oh. Okay, yeah, so, so the counter's gone. Well, it's still technically on it. No, the it's once it's exiled, once We'll it's go to combat, here, who's got the most life? And has got the most yeah. life, so I'll swing at you for four. How did that happen? <laughs> That's it. Yeah, you've been damage. trapped a bit. Well, to be fair, you had no long that no long that um, to lose. So, That's yeah. very true. Oh, yeah, I've got to take some sort of. Yeah, so I felt like that was fair. Okay. Um, unlike my deck, apparently, which no. is not fair. No, I will pa not. pass the turn. Thank you. My not so good friend, Christy. <laughs> <laughs> that was mean. I mean, you, you're mean. Can't yeah. attack me That's with a pretty mean thing that you did there. I'll play a crumbling necropolis, uh, and I will. That's a little thinky think. Wally. Yeah. We could actually. You don't want to give him his hardened scales no, back. No, I don't. I do have a way to give him it back. Well, the thing is, Hans, if I get my hardened scales back, the creatures with double counters are only going to I mean, be going if you, at Christian. If, if you get rid of it, I'll be joined, I'll join Team Us. <laughs> yeah, us. Team, I mean, us could be anyway. Does that mean you leave, that mean you leave Team Christian? What do you mean? Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I, I think I, this I, is actually... I, yes, I think get rid of it. I think it's a shrewd can, political we, play there, Hans. I think we... I think I know who... Okay, what I'll do then is, for the time being, I will... I'll just tap one, and I know this has flash, but I'm bringing it out anyway. I'll play Spectral Sailor. Okay. It's a 1-1 one, one with flying and flash. Uh, tap four mana to draw a card, basically. Uh, and I will leave it at that for the moment. Okay, um, interesting. Pass to you one. Okay, I'll untap. I'll draw that Cold Eye Selkie that I saw before. Um, I'm going to tap for three to play an Evolution Sage. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under my control, I proliferate. I will now play that Simic Growth Chamber, bouncing this island. And I'll proliferate, so Ooh, Spotify oh Tracker nice. has three counters on it now. A little bit of a combo there, Wally. Yeah, 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 That's it's called Synergy. Synergy. <laughs> um, now, where do I want to go? Now, Tom, you're, you're going to join Team Us, right? Team Us. Um, Spotify Track has kind of done its thing, and Christine did kill the map, and it would trade as well. <laughs> kill the map. It was pretty harsh for you to kill the map. This can't attack or block. Oh, it can't attack yeah. or block, but your other thing can, uh, but you might not wish to. Uh, I'm going to swing at you with my 5-5. Five five. Oh, yeah, I'll take 5. And I will pass the turn to Tom. Okay, I will untap my sad board. I will draw. Um, I will tap two to play um, Charismatic Conqueror. Basically, when an artifact oh, wow. or a creature enters the battlefield, their opponent so enters under, or you can tap up. Whenever an artifact or creature enters the battlefield untapped and under an opponent's control, they may tap that permanent. If they don't, you create a 1 1 white vampire creature. So you get free real estate. When no, 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 you choose. You choose. We choose, yeah, yeah. You can oh, have choose. This is a good chance for them to be your team. To be my team. team yeah, yeah. Team definitely, definitely. Um, so, because we're all good friends here, of course, um, I, I am going to leave it at that. Thank you, my good friend Tom. I will untap, I'll peep and draw. Right, I don't like how Ant's been threatening me and the amount of mana he has open, but he doesn't actually have any blue. I mean, is it threatening or is it self defense? Um, you did say you're going to go at him. I said I was gonna listen. I'm on. I'm on. I was no, gonna I'm redeem on. your good faith. Is yeah, what I said yeah. I was gonna do. Good faith. Um, so as, as I say, it depends on when I'm gonna do this. It's a creature I really want to play, but I'm just worried that it won't survive. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna go straight to combat. Okay. And I'm gonna swing at you for eight. Okay. Um, right. Um, I will assign a spectral sailor to block your commander. Mm -hmm. uh, and what I'll do is I'll be chaotic. 
in the sense that I will play a Chaos Warp on this little fellow. <laughs> that could be so much worse. <laughs> it could be, but... On this one? Yes, yeah. please. Okay. So it exiles. So they exile. so you shuffle it into your library. So it shuffles you? into the library. Uh, and then, basically, if, if, if a permanent reveals on the top of the li library, it goes straight onto the battlefield. So, with dinosaurs, <laughs> it's such yeah. a yeah. risky play. Um, sorry, here and here. This is where he just flips Let's, over the exact same card. This is, this is, this is roll dice. Um, yeah. I'll tell you what, Thomas, my good friend, would you like to cut? I don't, I don't, I don't know if I would like to. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tom, you got your vampire back, which is what I was saying yeah, about the good thing. Should we flip it? Yeah, let's flip well, it. Let's go. It is a Sunfill Invitrator, so that's not that's not too bad. It's actually a, an interesting card. Um, there will be a trigger when this enters. I will choose to have it come in with a plus one, plus one counter, so I will go for four. Migration path, two basic lands, taps. Okay. You know what, that was probably really, really good for me, really. So Just I'll, a little bit. I get two basics. That's not bad. I have a mountain, and I will have a forest. Okay. Okay, so whilst that oh, sort of sorry. is going on. Um, so when the end, when it, yeah, we need to be happy for some fill imitator. Yeah. Did you? Well, we're, would you like to tap we're, it? we're good friends, so we're, we're I'll let friends. you have a one-one. Oh, thank you, my good friend. Wow, some people treat people like well, to be fair, printers. If it wasn't for my chaos wolf, you wouldn't be getting free one. -ones. He had to do it. He didn't want to. Okay. Um, but you got the free one ones either way. Then I've got two, oh, three, four, five, six, seven mana. So before we actually carry on, we're still we're still in the combat. Oh yeah, we are. Yeah. Not. Uh, so, Spectral Sailor will die, yeah. um, and your commander will not deal any damage, sure. and I won't get any deal the damage of the previous creature. So that yeah, is, that yeah, I'll let you go see your second main. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I guess I will just try and make the most of that mana, um, and I will tap for six. I'll play a Bellowing Aegisaur. Whenever it's dealt damage, put a plus one, plus one counter on each other creature you control. Oh, that's um, dangerous. I, oh, do, you, do you want that to come in tapped? Um, Oh, another lifelink in Vampire. Who are you swinging them at? Oh, uh, I wouldn't swing at a good friend. Okay, so these both uh, are tapped. <laughs> Tommy, you've got to decide what team you're on here. Oh, no, they're on they're tapped. Almost, almost. One thing I should note as well, I now have um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lands with Topri Stomp and Canada. He, he wants them out, he doesn't want oh, them Oh, this tapped. also, I will have to enter with a plus one. The thing is, if he taps him, it's not good for him, so that wasn't I'll just... pass a turn. Okay, I'll untap. We'll keep on draw. My board's not scary. <gasps> Yes, it is. My, I'm, I'm sorry, my board is especially <laughs> not scary. That's exactly how I like your board to look. Oh, look well, to be fair, let's just uh, bring out the namesake, uh, Mr. Brass. Not Mr. Brass. I, I shouldn't say Mr. Brass, it's actually Admiral Brass. He is a member of no, the she. military. She. She, I beg your pardon. I should really look at the cards first, shouldn't I? I know. Uh, when she comes into play, I uh, mill four cards, so we will go one, two, three, Four. Oh, so, you got so there's a couple of pirates as an option. Uh, now we'll go to combat. Before you do that, before you choose your thing, before you go to combat, what um, do you would you like it to enter tapped or not? I don't think I'd like to enter it tapped. Enter it tapped. I think uh, Tom can have an extra vampire. Go for <laughs> wow, it. that's done so much. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Okay, and My I good will friends. choose Ramirez del Cuatro. Oh, sorry, Pietro. Um, I would like to ask. Is this going to come in tap as well? <laughs> Would you like that to come in Tom, tap? have another vampire on me. <laughs> oh my goodness. My good friend Tom. I'm starting to think that this is a, a very good card. Yes. Yeah, it yeah. kind of is, isn't it? Uh, so when R Ramirez del, or say, Di Pietro Pillager comes into play, I lose two life and create two treasure tokens. So I'll get those now. And do I have anything else to do with said treasure tokens? Are they, do you know them treasure tokens? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're not ours. It doesn't trigger off ours. It, it, it does. It does. Really? Yeah. Um, so that's two, and obviously if they came in tapped, you're going to have to uh, No, I'd like to use them, Tom, you can have some extra. <laughs> two <laughs> more vampires, you say? <laughs> All right, this is quite a lot oh of vampires. <laughs> Guys, I think we need to either deal with that creature or maybe work together a little bit about these vampires. Well, Tom's my good friend, Wally. <laughs> I think he's a better friend to me. I mean, I've given him loads of vampires here. Um, th there might be a thing of too much vampires. Too I, many vampires? You never have too many. Too many no, vampires no. spoil the broth. <laughs> Okay. That well-known saying. Yes, well, <laughs> Tom, would you like an extra vampire? I mean, I'd never say no to an extra okay, vampire. I'll, I'll tap, tap the two treasure tokens and sacrifice. I'll play Francisco Falmarauder. It's a zero-one flyer. It can't block, but it says whenever one or more pirates I control deal damage to a player, Francisco explores. Oh, nice. Uh, so. Hey, I'm the deck who does the exploring. I know. Somehow I'm, I'm getting lots of uh, explore triggers, potentially. So, we'll go to combat. Uh, Ramirez is a 4-4 four -four and... I think Wally, sadly, as much as we said we were friends, I just want to trigger. 
if that's okay with you. Mm, fine. Good guy, Anthony. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the salty sea. Yeah. yeah, the salty sea. I think I have to take the four. Bounce okay. 32. And that's commander damage. So well. it, it no, is not. not commander damage. Oh, no, so it's so not, not, not commander here. So uh, I will the explore. Salty sea. Bear with me. Reveal. It's a land, so that'll go straight to my hands. Nice. I haven't played a land this turn, so I will play said Path of Bounce History. You'll go one. Okay. Untap my stuff. Draw this card that I've not seen. I'm going to play. Yes, I will play this island. I will proliferate because of evolution stage. So two counters, so it's on five counters now. Wow, it's bigger than my dinosaurs. Yes, it is bigger than your dinosaurs. And it's also about to be unblockable because I'm going to tap for four. I'm going to play Herald of Secret Streams. Oh no. Creatures you control with, counts, with plus one plus one counts on them can't be blocked. Um, would you? I am going to bring it in tapped because it's, it doesn't really matter to me. Um, and then Tom, just to double down, I'm going to tap no. you for seven. <laughs> so you can't block it. You can't block so I'll take seven. And I'll pass the turn. Okay. I will untap. Okay. I will tap the planes. Um, path to exile. Sort the file shares. Okay, so it's exiled. I will gain two life. You get the table and two life, see? So. Dreadful decision, Tom. <laughs> well, to be fair, you did swing an unblockable 7-7 so, seven, seven at him. Okay, so go 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 to combat. I, so, Tom, would yeah. you like to attack me so you can get your trigger, so you can get the mana? That is a very good friend thing. And maybe, it is a, such a good friendly thing, and it's only an easy one damage. Maybe, maybe, maybe I've misjudged you one. So I'm going to go to attack. You get your little thing, you don't I get, I get my counter. Yeah, that's cool. Um, does, does that resolve? It resolves. I'm not going to block. I'm just going to let you have that. Life. You lose a life. life yeah. Okay, so I'll go to my next main phase. I will tap to sacrifice to bring in my four for it. And it comes um, in untapped? Oh, no. It comes in tapped. Okay. Thank you, Christian. Um, oh, I get to draw a card. I get to draw a card as well. Yeah. So I will, I will have the three. I'll tap one white to play. Um, oh, nice. Oh, oh dear. And then I will scry, keep that on top. And then I have two mana. And I will leave it there. Untap. Do a good friend this time. <laughs> and draw. Um, oh, right. I have got maybe a bit of a spicy play here. Um, I'm going to tap for two, three, four, five, six. And I'm gonna uh, attempt to cast Vitali Primal Storm. Oh, we get haste. Um, oh, no. And, I, and I, I'm gonna choose to give it haste, but first of all, there is a discover tree. I, I, I think Chrissy should put does, a counter on does it. Does it come intact? Um, you may have your 1 1. Bring it, give it haste and bring it intact. Okay, uh, and then I will <laughs> discover six. Oof! Oh, that's no, no, oh, it. Would it's not, it would have oh. been cast in my hand. Oh. Okay, so I get. Oh, Tom, you're not gonna like this one. I get a Raging Sword Tooth. When it enters the battlefield, it deals one damage to each other creature. Oh, no. Ooh. Okay, so when it enters, it deals one damage. You're going to get some triggers from this. It, it gets to each other, so how, how does it work? How does it stack oh, to I'm, one one? Right, um, I'm not sure about that, but what is no, going to... The damage will, the damage will, damage will go dies, first. So, dies, so yeah. everything's going to get one damage. So anything with one toughness is going to die, but I am going to... One damage will do to Bellowing Aedosaur, so all my creatures will get a plus one, plus one counter. Not good. Nope. Uh, so my board actually isn't harmed. So Francisco, or Francisco even, foul marauder, I will not forget. sadly is dead. Uh, it was not my intention to uh, blow pretty, up everybody. That's pretty rude, that was It was calculated. Um, it's going to get a lot worse here. So we're going to um, go to um, uh, combat. No, no, you did your end step next, mate. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I just need to think. So when this attacks, you may have it become a copy of another target dinosaur. Yes. So. I can't do the Itali thing, can yeah, I? It's already attacked. Oh, so, okay. so, can I just ask? So when this enters, it then does the one damage, yes. right? Yeah. So I actually would have one vampire because you've chosen not to tap it. Okay, no problem. So um, yeah, just. All right. It. So unfortunately, oh, that's frustrating that I can't use it for the. Um, but okay, I'll have the Sunfrill Imitator. Um, a week, so it, it can still become a copy of it. It doesn't lose that ability. No. So I will still still do Itali. So I'm going to... Um, well, you've got a 2-2? Two -two? Yes, 3-2 actually. That I'll, makes a difference. Okay, I will swing this at you, and I will swing the 7-7 seven -seven at you. Um, and... Um, how much? And Tom, I'll send the 6-6 six -six at you, just to start making it a bit more even. So I have an Itali trigger. So um, each... This is going to become a copy of Itali. 
Uh, each player um, reveals the top card of the library. Beast within. Expanse. Oh no. Okay, so I get a beast within. Um, what should I destroy? Right, I'll, I'll take. Um, I'll t I will take votes on what we. Well, so I, I'm giving you the beast within, so I'd like to think that I'm. What, what would you like me to destroy? I'll tell you what, Wally. I will let you choose what to destroy. Oh, that's very not on my board then. Oh, I was going to suggest something on your board. <laughs> um, well, this is kind of annoying, and the vampires are all gone now, so it might be good to just get out ahead of it. That's Wally spoken. Okay, I'd so it will go to my Wally. graveyard, and oh. I will give you. Like I say, I give you a beast, Tom. You know, it's not all time. Um, and then uh, the combat happens. So. Um, so I've got the 7-7 seven, seven at me, yeah, 5-5 um, uh, five, five at you, Wally, and 6-6 uh, six, six Vigilance at you, Tom. So you made that an Atali, correct? Yes, so it's actually, so it's actually an 8-8. Eight, eight. 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 Um, so I will, take, I will choose to take 7. So okay. you're swinging 8 at me. Oh. How much do I like my Evolution Sage? I'm going to take. I'm going to block with my Evolution Sage. Sure. Um, you're 6-6, six, six, I will double block. Oh, that you, could, you, 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 could, you can um, triple, triple block and kill it. Um, and you'll get a 4-3 at the end of it as well, because you come commander Yes, a... I will triple block and kill. Sure, that makes sense. So I'll take 7. Come back. There we go. Okay. Um, that's it from me. I'll pass it in. Wow. That was quite a turn. So it's a board wipe o'clock here, boys. By that, well, well, that was crazy good for, for getting rid oh, of the yeah. top board. But I, I'm, I feel like Wally was a bit mean picking your thing. I don't, I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> Ultimately, it was Christy who cast the spell. <laughs> oh my word! There's no need for anybody to be looking at my board. There absolutely is. Yeah. So, guys, you know that board wipe that you know we need to draw. Can somebody just draw a board wipe, please? Yeah. Sadly, I, I, I'm going to put my hand up here and say I did not draw one. Oh, come on, Hans. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. You're wide open. You're wide open, Tom. If you can cast Who's, a board wipe with that, I thing, think the then. most more likely place on the board wipe is Tom. So, if, it, if it's okay with you, Tom. Only if it's okay with you. Unbelievable. That, I'm it? on 28 life. I'm trying to find a board wipe to deal with this nonsense. Uh, there is a board wipe in this deck, yes. There is a board wipe. But, 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 but he used it. <laughs> no, there is a second a board wipe. A second wipe. board wipe. Oh, okay. But so, how much damage are you coming at me for? Uh, I can either go for three commander damage or for regular. Um, I'll take three commander. You will go for three commander damage. So I'm actually going to go to combat. This triggers. And I will return. Uh, I'll return the Spectral Sailor to the battlefield. So it's a 4 4 flyer. Uh, and then I'll go to attacks, and I'll attack Tom for three commander damage. Uh, trigger happens, so whenever one, more, one or more pirates I control, they'll combat damage to the player. And also, this needs a final, finality counter. When it deals combat damage to the player, I can cast, I can reveal top player, top card of target player's library, which is Tom in this case, uh, and I can cast that for as long as it remains exiled. So let's look. Uh, so it's a, oh, it's a vampire <laughs> lord as well. Oh, that's so frustrating because you were so close to keeping your whole board. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was my win. That was my win. <laughs> that was oh, Tom. I'm sorry, probably. Tom. Sorry. Um, what a sad, no, what's that going to do for you? What's that going to do for you? It's basically an extra body by the look of so, really? so I'll, leave, I'll leave that in exile. I think. Leave it in exile. Uh, so that's, that's basically sort of made a little bit of my mind up on, on certain things. So, Table, what would you say is the, the most horrible thing on Christian's board right now? Bear in mind he's got two Atalis. So you might as well leave them. Uh, if you take if you take one Atali, I'll take the other. I think two Atalis is precisely yes. twice as bad as one. Yeah, I can take the other. Yeah, Atali, yeah. Um, I think it, it's it's sort of Atalis, which you know can whiff and stuff. Let's like that. get on with it. If you want, yeah. if you want to be keep, really keep, harsh, give on me the main Atali. Harsh. Take the take 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 the Jarg Atali. Yeah, let the, the Jarg Atali. <laughs> the, the Aldi Atali. <laughs> leave that Aldi. Hey, don't don't this is that will touch my. I'm a little man. Not okay, sponsored. so I yes. <laughs> yes, little. Hit me up. <laughs> okay, hit Christine up even. Uh, so I'll tap four and I'll play Hostage Taker on the original Atari. Um, oh. I, did, I, did believe, I did believe I said don't take the original. Are you sure you didn't want. I'll, I want apologies. the original. My take, take. That's just my poor ears. I'll take the copy in that case. Yeah. You don't want him to be cast in the original Atari again. No, you don't really. Uh, so yeah, that's, I it. that's under it. there. Um, and because I cast the pirate, I will get to scry. That was smart, that Tom, as if he somehow knew he had hostage taker. <laughs> oh, yeah. You've been studying my hand, Tom. Okay, that can stay on. He said he didn't have no board wipes or anything like that, so that was the only. Yeah, so that is the end of my go, Wally. Okay. It's your turn. Okay. Let's untap my stuff. Let's see what's on top. Uh, it's not great, but it'll do for now. Uh, so play that command that tower. Hard and scales. Wally's so the threat here. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Just because you're jealous and you want it for extra one one. No, no. So I'm going to tap the six anyway to bring out my commander again. 
So that's twice it's been cast from the command zone. Now we'll go to combat. Each merfolk I control explores. So we'll do uh, my commander's explore trigger first. Okay. Uh, it's a land, Lanoir Reborn, which will come to my hand. Okay. Uh, so it doesn't get a counter. Yeah. And then Topography Tracker will explore again. It's a rapid hybridization. Ooh, that start. is a card that's quite good. So that will remain on top. I don't draw it, unfortunately. But I will get two counters on my topography tracker, so it's up to seven counters now. If you let me keep my Tolly, so you... I'll cast that on one of them. So one of their stuff. Oh, sorry, it's only one that attacks. No, Tolly. Totally. You've, you've got to deal with Christine's board. I don't like politics. I know it's... <laughs> what? Uh, oh, so it's, this it's is the first problem. time you've so ever said that, Tolly. Topography tracker is a 9-9, nine nine, which I think will kill... I mean, it might be killed, but it will kill something on your board, Christine, if you block it, right? Mm-hmm. Right, however, right. however, oh, well, he'd be oh yes, he's got the thing. Yeah. What does the thing do again? If it if it's dealt damage, um, you can put a one-one counter on each other creature he controls. So there's nothing that can. Oh, well, the thing could... is, it would die, and yeah, it would put a counter on everything, but then it's dead. I suppose, that is you true. Know what, actually, you know what, Wally, I'll I'll go with that. Yeah, Christian, I'm just swinging nine nine at you. Oh, a nine nine. Um... I will block with the Bellowing Age or so, yep. and I'll put a plus one, plus one count on all my creatures. Yeah, there was yeah. a little bit of fake Because I feel there, like Christian. My, my board's been kind of dealt oh. with now, so. Yeah, um, so I played my land for turn. I've got one mana left that I can't use, so Tom, that is over to you. Okay, I will untap my different board than I last untapped. <laughs> That's some good untapping, my good friend. Yeah, so, yes, <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> deal with that Atali, Tom, you said you would. I can deal with a 9-9 if you don't deal with the Atali. I tell you what, give me a turn with the Atali. Tom, the, the, nine nine's going no, the, 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 the nine nine's going nowhere near you, Tom, so you don't need it dealt with. We did say Tom. And you did make a deal with I, I did make a deal with you that I would deal with this, and I changed my mind. Don't, rem don't remember this, dude. I, I'm a man. Very short memory. <laughs> yeah, very short <laughs> And I, 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 I will not forget what you did to my vampires. <laughs> like, you, you didn't just slaughter, you You opened the blinds and they all died. <laughs> yeah. they, 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 were all the in, they were all They were doing nothing. They were just in the house, all chilling. I feel like, I feel like Raging Soldiers would be a picture of Blade. <laughs> <laughs> well, animated a picture of Blade. Yeah, <laughs> so, it's Blade. <laughs> I will tap for four to play New Blood. As oh. additional cost to cast the spell, I have to tap an untapped vampire I control. Sure. I tap. Gain control of target creature. Um, change the text on the creature to, by replacing uh, all it basically becomes a vampire. Oh, so he gets a Tali. So you get a Tali, but yeah. it's a vampire. Nice. It's, it's a vampire Tali. Um, I, think that, I think the rapid hydrization still needs to be used on that. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll have it next turn, so we'll see what, we'll see what happens. Um, I mean, hold on a second, I thought we were friends. Well, one of the things I'll know what's on top of my library, won't I, so... So we're not, we, I never chose to attack you, did I? Go no, 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 no. Okay, that's good. I'm not gonna, it's not gonna come at you. Well, it can't attack this turn anyway, so... Yeah, it's not gonna come at you, so we know we're good, are we? Well, we're good, now we're good, yeah. Yeah, we're great. I passed my good friend Christian. My good friend Christian, I've just nicked the Atali from. I mean, they did slaughter all my people. Well, there was Raging Blade Tooth over here that did that. All right, we'll go to my turn. Okay, I'll untap. And draw. Uh, I guess I will tap for a green and a green and two more. And I will play. Can I say I've survived with four lands? Shifting top. Ceratops. Ooh. I'll have it Impressive. come in with a plus one plus one counter, so I will discover five. Choose one. If you control a commander, you may choose oh, both. No. Creature oh. control gives fly flying, vigilance, and double strike oh, until oh. end of turn. That's Creature not control gives lifelink, indestructible, and protection from all colors until end of turn. Uh, I will cast both of them. Oh no, you, you know you don't, it's a May ability to choose both. You can just choose one if you want. <laughs> I, will, I will cast both of them. What a good card, a chrome as well. Um, so creatures I control have flying, vigilance, and double strike until end of turn. And lifelink, right? Um, and like, oh, and, and, and the rest of it. Oh, Keyword uh, soup, I think that's colors. called. Protections as well. um, I'm gonna tap four for a curious altar saw. Um, whenever a creature you does combat damage to play it, draw a card. Oh, that's not good. Um, the I'm going like. to. So, how, how is it going to come in oh, the river of the wild? Um, so, I think it makes sense to give it haste because it will give it. But then it's not going to get this stuff. No. So, I'll keep it on defense and I will have it with a plus one, plus one. I will tap this for a green though to give this haste until end of turn. Cool. Um, we will go to combat. Ruh, ruh. Okay, um, and so I have one, two, three, flying, vigilance, lifelink, indestructible, and protection from all colors, and they got double strike, so I probably can kill people now. Yeah. And let me entertain you with some elevator music. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, I'll make a deal with you. Okay. Right? 
My good friend. When you swing with your Itali, yeah. the rapid hybridization can hit anything on any other player's board but my board. Well, I feel like And I, I won't attack you at all with oh any my, of my oh, stuff. Oh. I'm going to draw the rapid hybridization. Oh, no, he's going to draw the rapid oh, hybridization. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so we can't make that deal. Okay. I, but I would have made that deal with you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just, my hypothetically. So just hypothetically. Right, I think, Ant, I think Ant might have something to get rid of a thing. I can. I can assure you right now, I don't have anything to remove anything. Right, I, I'm, exactly afraid, I'm, I'm afraid I'm, so right, the writing is on the wall a little bit for yourself. I'd hate I'm to I'm going to swing at I would also you hate to be with uh, the Flying Vigilance Double Strike. These two are coming at you, Ant. And Wally, this 7-7 seven, seven Flying Vigilance Double Strike Protection from all colours is coming at you. Okay, um, so uh, just on my side of the board, Christian, uh, math-wise, we've got six... Uh, and another six, 20 so 20 20 24 four. damage. I no, I'm no mathematician, so but I think 24 is higher than 23. It certainly is. However, <laughs> I'm still alive as long as you have decisions to make. Yeah, well, I'm just gonna have to, I'm gonna have to take it, aren't okay. I? So I'm down to 20. <sighs> so, so you 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 will take 14. You will take whatever. So you'll take 14. You'll take 24. So I will gain. Uh, Maths is hard. <laughs> so you're gonna take 14. You'll take 24. So I'm gonna gain 38 life. Okay, and. That's scary. On my death, uh, Christian will get back his, what was he, what was he called again? Sun Frill Imitator. Oh, he needed that. And, and the pirates are confined to Davy Jones's locker. Yarr. Okay, and- There'll be no more uh, yarring today. I will also, be be because of this, because I had creatures deal combat damage to player six times, yep. I'll draw six cards. Why not? Um, I'm not the best magic player, but I will think that Christian might just be the friend. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree there, Tom, yeah. I'll play um, this from a hand of four to five village, which comes in uh, tapped. Um, and then I will go to my uh, discard phase and I will discard a Drover of the Mighty. Oh. And it's your go, oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's your go, Wally. <laughs> Insult to injury. I don't like how Christian's <laughs> just refilled his hand there, but I will draw that. I, I may be all the time, yeah. Guys, yeah. is there anything to be said for me not being a threat? Nope. I don't know. I Do you think... know how you and my good friend, by the way? I think you're, so just, I think you're just wasting your breath if you're trying to insist that you're not the threat, Christian. So I'll play the Lanoir Reborn, and that has Graft, which means it gets a counter on it. A land with a counter, super useful. And then, let's see what's on top of my library, shall we? So we'll tap three, and we'll play a happy little Realm Walker. Oh. So I'll obviously choose Merfolk. I may look at the top card of my library at any time, and I may cast Merfolk from the top of my library, so I will do that. That is a merfolk. Is it castable? It is castable, and it's actually reasonably good. It's just a question, is it better than what I'm... You know what, let's go for it. So we'll tap for three, and I'll cast the card off top of my library. It's a Mero Regery. Other merfolk creatures I control get plus one, plus one, and whenever I cast a merfolk spell, I may tap or untap target permanent. So this might help us get in a Christine if I survive, which I probably won't. Um, right. I don't know how any of us survive this next turn. Yeah, I know, right. Uh, so we'll go to combat, and all of my creatures are merfolk, so I'll basically just explore four times. So we'll start with the Mero Regery. It's an island, comes to my hand. Realm Walker. Deep Root Historian. Uh, I'm going to put that in my graveyard, and I'll put two counters on the Realm Walker. We need to do something. Then my commander, <laughs> Rogue's Passage, comes to my hand. And then the Topography Tracker, Kopala, Warden of Waves. I think that's, it's too late for that, isn't yeah. it? I think that's going to go to the graveyard, and I will have a checkup. So that'll get two counters, up to nine counters now. I'll see what's on top. My topography tracker is a 12-12 because of Mero Regery. I think we just need to start. I mean, he's got 72 life, so we can just take it for fun, can't we? can just, yeah. yeah. It's, it's all fun. Um, it's all fun and games for Christian. Um, <laughs> Yeah, Christine, I'm going to swing my 12-12 at you. I'll just go down to 60. I thought you might. I think I can just change that. Yeah. yeah. Um, and my good friend, Tom, a good friend now, right? <laughs> Tom, I'm switching this over to you. Very quickly. Yeah, I, don't I, I will untap. I will draw. Weirdly, not a land. You've not had a lot of land this time. I've not, I've not had a lot of land, and I really want to cast my commander. So do you know what you should do? I could sacrifice it. You oh. could. However, you've got Natalia there. You have got Natalia there. You can cast things for free. Off our library. Oh, oh, off, our, off everyone else's library. Yeah, but I want to bring him in now, so I can then... Oh, I can't. Oh, I could make Natalia ramp. You could, you could potentially get ramp off Christian, or no, even but, Wally. But there's not, there's not... But I want to bring him out now for the attack trigger. So yeah, to be honest, Tom, we need to do something we need, we need impactful to, this turn, yeah. really. So I will play um, two black. And a colours. Um, Nighthawk Scavenger. Yep, so he comes in with flying, death touch, lifelink. Um, Nighthawk Scavenger's power is equal to the number... 
equal to one plus the number of card types among cards in your opponent's graveyard. So I've got creatures and instants. Um, I've got well, a land, land as well scry. and a sorcery. Oh, oh yeah, so I, it's four. I will scry. I'll put this at the bottom of the library. I don't have any mana near the cost of that. And then, um, weirdly, I've got. So let's go. Let's go to attacks. So I've got creatures that can block your things. No uh, problem. Has it got bit, flying or reach? It's, Both got it's reach. when it attacks. Oh, no, sorry. No, this one doesn't have reach. This has reach. I'm, I'm happy. I for can't you. block the Italian I'm, yeah, I'm, comfortably. I'm, I'm, I'm happy for you to to, to, to kill it because I still get the, the trigger off it. Yeah. Um, so I will go in with the Italian with you, Christian. Okay. So okay. attack trigger. You, you get an. Uh, uh, we all do it. Yeah, we, I know you get an Adsukan Seer, so um, it's a, a 2 3. You might as well have it. Get it anyway for some yeah. bodies. Okay, yeah. Yeah. And you get a blocker off me as well. Emperor uh, Mikh Mikhail the Second. So you can cast Merfolk styles from the top of your library, so I'm well done. Oh, <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> um, okay, uh, so I will take eight. I believe that is my turn. Right, I will untap, keep and draw. Tap one. One. Plenty of smidge. I've only have four. Three. Four, five. Um, to play a Wrathful Raptors. It has Trample. Whenever a dinosaur you control is dealt damage, it deals that much damage to any target that isn't a dinosaur. Okay, so um, you've so got, you got even block now. So I'm going to choose to give it haste, and then I will uh, discover five. So, okay, I will get oh, my word. Life Crafters Beast Tree. <laughs> I, I would rather have had a, a, another dinosaur. Um, I noticed Christine flipped over to Talpa there, a card that's desperately been in need of it. Yeah, yeah, it has. Thank you, yeah. Wizards, for reprinting things to Talpa. Um, we will go to combat and Same I will swing I was expecting to see that everything somewhere. at Tom. Oh. Um, I will have um, th this um, become a copy of. Uh, what do I want it to become a copy of? Um, the Wrathful Raptors. So basically, whenever you deal the combat damage to a dinosaur, I will deal twice that damage to anything else, any target at all. Wally, um, I'm going to sell you this now. Not all heroes wear capes. I'm going to take the damage as well as I'm being all tapped out. Okay. Are you are you are you going to die on your sword and and, and give Wally the chance? Tom's to going to fling himself on his sword. Okay. <sighs> Could be. Remember me. <laughs> as I'll the, never, as I'll the never worst be. vampire leader that was, <laughs> but I did get a ruckus of vampires. But they were all wiped out instantaneously. However, do you know what you, do you know what I think you could do? Um, the dinosaur that Christine's got will go back to Christine if you didn't block with it. I want you to remember me as the greatest vampire leader that never was. <laughs> we, we had a big bunch of vampires. We got together. Are you just going to take the damage. I'm, I'm gonna, you're all tapped down, aren't you? So. You're oh, like, well, no, I've got I've got five. You've got five. Got five but, but, yeah, I think but, you are dead no yeah, matter what you do. But I will sacrifice this. Um, I'm with it for a dinosaur. Okay. And you you're just going to take all the damage. I'm going to take it. You're, you, you, He's you, very, you, very dead. You die. Super dead. Um, I draw one, two, three, four, five, six cards and get a tally back. So I, get, I draw six cards. I think I will play a Command Tower as my land for turn in my second main phase. So I have six mana. Health is only one Kenobi. You are only one. <laughs> Wally Kenobi. Wally, Wally, can Wally, I do 52 Kenobi. damage this turn? I don't think I can do 52 um, damage this turn. Um, I will tap, tap two. You never know with your commander or all this sort of. A Fafri. dinosaur egg. Um, I'll choose it to come in with a plus one, plus one counter. Um, then I will tap for uh, three. Oh, I might as well tap the green to draw a card. Uh, and then I'll tap the other so mm, from this. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then I will um, put with the other three that I've just tapped. I'll play a Death Gorge Scavenger. Um, I'll put that with a plus one, plus one counter. And when it ends the battle, you may exile target card from a graveyard. Um, I'll just exile. Um, is anything relevant in your graveyard? I've got nothing. Uh, the, 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 the creature on the top. Um, so I will, I will gain two. Because that's going to be really just to important. Make that task even more and difficult. I'll pass Wally. the turn to you, Wally, okay. and I will go to my discard. Okay, on your end step, I'm going to tap for a blue, and I'm going to cast Rapid Hybridization on your bigger blocker. Okay. So you will get a 3-3 three, three for what it's worth. Okay, I will get, what do I get? I've got it. Uh, I'll discard four land cards. Can I do, you can do this. 54 damage? I think you can. Okay, so it's Part my turn. Cards. I will untap. <coughs> You've also got the graph there. Oh, sorry, because of the Evolve trigger, 
this would get a plus one plus one. Yeah, it does. Yeah. And then because of this coming in as well, I will get another uh, evolved trigger there as well. Okay. I mean, to be fair, you get untapped triggers for every Merfolk. You can't Where's this fog you effect that you're desperate for? Yeah. But there's been there every game, for like last like 10 games. I know, right. The <laughs> uh, thing is, I swear, yeah, I can tap his stuff. That's correct, actually. Um, so play, play an island for turn anyway. Ooh. Um, Dangerous. Careful there, Chris. Watch out. The island might get you. <laughs> oh, we all know it's the best play in magic. It could be Buffett. You could have something. I'll tap for Aetherize, was it the turn Three. Was yes. it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Tap for three. I'll play Voral of Hull Clade. I can tap a Simic and tap it to double the type of number of each type of counter on target artifact feature or land, which isn't great right now. But so, I do get to tap something. So also as well, you've got a graft uh, trigger from the land if you want to put the uh, counters on it. Yeah, I will move the counter over. Which will then become two. Oh yeah, it does scales. Yes, you're right. Aunt, you're good to have around you, are on. Um and I can tap something, so I'll just tap your dinosaur egg. Okay. Uh, then I'll tap for three more to play a cold-eyed Selkie. Sure. Island Walk, whenever it deals combat damage to a player, I may draw that many cards. I'll tap your other blocker, Christian. Sure. Go to combat, all of my Merfolk will explore. So we'll start with Voral. Temple of Mastery comes to my hand. Topography Tracker, Inspiring Call. I can't draw it, can I? So it's actually no. not. Well, I mean, you, could, you can attack with your commander though, no. and you will draw it. Um, but remember, this card exists. But that's not going to help me, so I'm going to put it in the graveyard, put two counters on there. And basically, I'm looking for a board right now. Commander, reveal the top card. Sage of Fables, graveyard, two counters. Realm Walker, Deep Root Waters, graveyard, two more counters. Mero Regery, Quandrix Command, not going to do it. Graveyard, two counters. One last chance to find a board like Cold Eyed Selkie. Forest goes no. to my hand. I can look at what's on top. <laughs> Not great. Um, well, you know is, what? Is it a merfolk? Though? It is a merfolk. So, because you can untap permanence, you could potentially untap your Simic Grove Chain because you get two mana uh, untap. Oh. So there's potential and to kind of keep going. you are good to have around. Well, I've got the two mana up. Um, Just I let can. him lose, man. <laughs> let, 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 yeah. let him lose. Uh, you know what? I am going to cast that. I'll pay two mana to cast Stony Brook Banneret. So it's a merfolk, because I can cast it with Realm Walker. Let's see what's on top. So on trigger, you've got this little fellow. You can untap a permanent. Yep, so I'll untap my Simic Growth Chamber. Um, and you know what? Tom, like you, I'm going to live and die by the sword. Christian, I'm going to swing everything that can swing at you, which is 4, 10, 15, 28 damage. Okay, I will take 28. So on trigger, you be able to do this particular guy's yep. ability, so if you want to do that. So I can put a land from my hand onto the bass build. I'm going to choose not to, and I will draw a card. It is not a board wipe. Let's see what's on top. However, Let him, he, he's played magic before, and he can However, I can, do it. I can actually play it, to be fair. Uh, so I'm going to tap for a Simic to play Merfolk Skydiver. Trigger Mero Regery. I will untap my Simic Growth Chamber. Oh, Simic stuff. And when it enters the battlefield, I put a plus one plus one counter on each creature I control, or target creature I control. Um, I guess I'll target the Cold Eyed Selkie, even though it doesn't matter, because I'm going to die. Let's see what's on top. That's also not a board wipe, but <laughs> I can play it. So I'll tap the Simic Growth Chamber to play Deep Root Elite. Whenever, whenever another Merfolk enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one plus one counter on each target Merfolk I control. Trigger that. Untap Simic Growth Chamber. Look at the top card of my library. And so, hi Christian in the editing studio. <laughs> um, this is very frustrating right now, and I know it is frustrating, but bear, 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 bear with him. Eventually you will kill him. Thank you for casting 50 spells on the last thing. It's going to take forever for me to edit this one. Uh, well, well, I'm, well, yeah. well, I'm Hurry up! I'm he, might, he might win. This cynic nonsense might just I'm spinning the wheel. He might win. Um, you'll be glad to know, Christian, I can't cast the top card of my library. So, um, may I please have turn? Uh, yes. If you've got a fog effect, I'll be just. I, 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 <laughs> I, will, I, I will salt my way all man, the way, all the way, all the way home. <laughs> right, beginning, I'll keep scribe one. Just come I'll put that everything. on the bottom. And I will draw. One, one, two, three, four, five. I will cast a quartz crasher. Um, I will have it have haste, and then I will do the top, uh, the it's XR the thing. Um, not this one. Not that one. Oh no. Target creature you control deals damage equal to its power to each other creature. 
uh, and each opponent. So I think that actually just wins me the game because I can have basically something. Because you're on 20. Because I can have, because I have two of these, right? I can have one of my creatures deal damage to every other creature and I will get two triggers for them. I don't want my creatures to die. Um, I don't think it matters. So I'm going to have... If you win. Oh, sorry, my dinosaur egg would get a plus one, plus one cow from the corpse crusher. Oh, don't forget that. Okay, I'm going to have my dinosaur egg deal four damage to each creature. So I'm going to... That's eight, 16, 24. I'm going to basically deal loads of damage to you unless you can stop this happening. In response... No, I'm gonna die. Oh, <laughs> good game, good, good game, game, good game. Got me. Good in the I never forget what happened. Oh, well played. Okay. I can tell you what. I actually didn't even win through combat damage. That, by the way, um, Gavin, uh, discover broken, absolutely broken. That is crazy, and that's going to be in standard. Because we know oh. Gavin watches. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, Gavin. <laughs> um, well, there we go. Dinosaurs. I might swap Gishap for this. It seems to do a bit better. It so, seems, you know. It's absolutely. It's not. like Joda for dinosaurs. It is like Joda for dinosaurs. But either way, good game. Did everyone have fun? Yeah, I had a great time. Yeah. 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 Uh, if I, yeah, right. I to, had fun. To, to be fair, though, I was out early, so I thought I need to lend a bit of a hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. A, a Chrome as Will is sure is a card, isn't it? Was oh, it a Chrome as Will? Yeah, it was. Chrome as Will, yeah. 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 And, um, so that is a pretty good card. The sad thing is, I can't even have all the graves for me vampires. It's <laughs> dust. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, thanks very much for watching. Uh, thanks, everyone, for, for playing. Uh, we'll be right back with the post game wrap. Don't go anywhere. Bye for now. Bye for now. Yeah. <laughs> got eaten by dinosaurs, as yes. did the pirates, as did the vampires. Oh. That was, you just went off then, didn't you? There is nothing I love more than being the threat from the very beginning of the game right till the end of the game and still winning. We just couldn't deal with it. I mean, Soul Ring, A Rhythm of the Wilds, and then obviously your dinosaurs. Everything I needed off the yeah, top from yeah, the discover yeah. Discover's Broken is very good. Yeah. Well, it's actually slightly better than Cascade, isn't it? Because you can put the card in your hand. So, yeah. Um, as if Cascade is the ability that we have at home. <laughs> that, somehow it is now, somehow, isn't it? Yeah. Some, somehow it's okay. But anyway, what a game. If you want to see the full post-game wrap, join the Patreon. Um, we we, have, we chat with Ant and Tom. We talk about our favourite cards. What's the MVP? Which decks we like and things like that. Thanks very much for watching. You, you can go and check that out on our Patreon. Um, yeah, and we'll we'll bring up our patrons here now. Because Thank you, guys. You guys are better than life itself. You're, you're beautiful people, all, all, all of you. If you'd like to join the Patreon, you can do it from as little as £1 a month. Yeah, but the highest here that gets you access to the post-game content that Christine mentioned is £5, but you also get to play Spell Table. Yeah, if you don't want to join the Patreon, but you still want to support the channel, then please like and subscribe. Like the video, subscribe. It helps us out loads. We really, really appreciate you. Um, before we go, though, we do have a competition. We do. If you'd like a chance to win this very specific box of Dominari Master Draft Boosters, all you've got to do is hit that button down there that we mentioned before, then share our video on social media, Facebook, you know, Google+, Plus, whatever else you might be using. Google+. Plus. Yep, yep. Take Is that a, a thing? That's what I said and I'm standing by it. <laughs> then take a screenshot of you sharing and send it to our channel email address, which is coming in here. Then when we get to 5,000 subs, we'll spin a wheel, we'll pull a name out of a hat or something like that, and one lucky person will get this box. Yeah, sent to you anywhere in the world. And one final thank you to the folks over at Whatnot for sponsoring the video. You can join our streams on the 12th and the 18th of November. That's really soon. Use our affiliate link for £10 off. Um, and the, the streams will be at 7 p.m. UK time. That's 3 p.m. EST and noon Pacific. So wherever you are in the world, come, come join us. Come have a chat with us. Can't wait to see you. They're always great fun. Yeah, and uh, oh, we're starting to get attacked by our videos that are, are being suggested here. So that means oh. that, yeah. It's the end of the show. It's the end of the show. Thanks very much for joining us. We'll catch you next time on Chad Magic. Bye for now.